first edition of the Nuremberg Chronicle by Hartman Schadel. I'm Adam Douglas from Peter Harrington and I'd like to show you this copy of one of the most famous books of the 15th century, the uh, incunable period, and uh, it opens with this magnificent uh, xylographic title. We see in this copy some inscriptions at the head of the title uh, a little later than publication there. There's the date 1547 and then below the title at the foot there's a, a later stamp of ownership. Um, these are really the only marks of that sort in this copy. And uh, it's a chronicle of world history. It tells in a series of um, extraordinary woodcuts uh, the whole history of the world here showing the creation in a sequence of uh, famous sequence. These leaves often uh, were, are so decorative that they would be removed and uh, hung as, as plates on the wall. So to have a complete copy unadulterated like this is uh, very attractive. As it goes on, um, it tells the story of uh, biblical times and then into um, more firmly historical times with sequences of woodcuts showing kings and prophets, various other personages here. Uh, the book was, uh, this is the Latin text, which was the first printing. Uh, there was also a German language text done. Uh, it started slightly afterwards. The whole book, the two versions, took something like 18 months to complete. And the woodcuts were, um, some of them are repeated, but there are um, uh, well over a thousand woodcuts of various towns. Um, obviously, as it was a it was printed in uh, Nuremberg and it was a civic project for the uh, townspeople of Nuremberg and there we see the great cityscape of Nuremberg itself, um, a big double page spread for Nuremberg. Uh, the young Albert Dürer was working in the workshop um, where they planned the woodcuts for this book. We know he, even though he was only I think 15 at the time, uh, we know he was involved in the production of it. Um, and uh, it really was a very complex book to produce and uh, a remarkable example of early complicated design. It's probably the most complex book of the 15th century. It ends with a final map there of Europe. Nice double page spread. Sometimes you get these when they're rebound. It's bound too tight, so you lose some of the detail. But this, this map has all the detail running through the gutter, as you see there. There's no loss. And it's in an attractive binding, which I think I can show you there. Um, it's a blind stamped calf binding with various a little difficult to see all the detail, but it's a, an early binding of one of the most famous books of the 15th century and a, a remarkable book altogether. For more details on this book and many others, please see the Peter Harrington website.